Hello friends, this video on Amai's part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some numericals now. So we try the chemical reaction for the following reaction. So the reaction, the first reaction is the reaction of ethanolic NS3 with C2H5Cl. This reaction. Nitrogen with the lone pair obviously. So let's see this reaction. So we have seen that in this case we have Rx when reaction with NS3 you get NS2R plus HX, correct? Same thing will happen. If you want, you can see the reaction mechanism also once again. So what will happen is, let's take this, C2H5Cl, chlorine will attract the electron towards itself, there's a negative charge, this whole thing will be slightly positive charge. I have NS3 with the lone pair, lone pair will attack on this carbon with the positive charge. So what you get here is, C2H5, N, H, H, N, H. And now since uh, positive charge C2H5 came on this, nitrogen was a slightly positive charge, somebody has to leave, hydrogen says I leave. So this becomes C2H5 because hydrogen is a good living group. Since hydrogen is a good living group, hydrogen leaves and you get this plus H plus obviously. And here if you see Cl minus left Correct. So Cl minus H plus and Cl minus combines to form HCl. This is what you get. Correct. You keep reacting it, you'll get uh, you'll replace each of these hydrogen with ethyl group here. So the typical reaction I write here is C2H5 Cl when it reacts with NS3, what you ethanolic NS3, what you get is C2H5 NH2. And then again you react with C2H5Cl, what you get is one more hydrogen will be replaced. You react one again, once again with the C2H5Cl, you will see that all the hydrogens are replaced now. Right? You again react one more, you get this uh, quaternary ammonium salt. This is what you get. The next is Analysis of benzyl chloride and reaction of amines who form with two moles of CH3C. So we have to do amonolysis of benzyl chloride. So we see my benzyl chloride, I have benzyl chloride. I'll do amonolysis that means I'll react with NH3. What will happen is one of the hydrogen will be replaced with a benzene. So what you'll get is something like this for is benzyl chloride so it has to be ch2cl ch2 and then i get nh2 this is what i'll get and then whatever output you have got you react with two moles of ch3cl that means you'll react with ch3cl once that means one of the hydrogen will be replaced you get this as output and then again you react with CH3Cl. You get this as output. Another hydrogen will be replaced with CH3. This is what you will get. And if you want to write the name of this, this is my longest chain. There are two substituents that is NN dimethyl. And this is phenyl. Is again a substituent here. This is my longest chain. Phenyl methane amine. This will be the name of this product. And then dimethyl phenyl, phenyl methane amine. Correct. Let's take more numerical. I have to convert C2H5Cl into C3S7NS2. If you see, one CH2 is extra. So if you want to add one CH2 extra, we know that instead of Cl, we have should have Cn and then we can do a reduction. Correct? So let's replace Cl with Cn here. To do that, what you can do is, you can react this guy with KCn, NaCn, any of these. So K plus Cn minus, now Cn minus will attack here and this chlorine will come out. So this is maybe CH3, CH2, 
Cn. So once I have CH3, CH2, Cn, and C with a double, triple bond here, Cn, yeah. What I can do, I can do a reduction. I can do a reduction, there are so many ways. I can do using hydrogen and some nickel catalyst, or I can use LiAlH4, there are so many ways to do that. I'll do a reduction. What will happen is two hydrogen adds up here, two hydrogen adds up here. So what you get is, this is triple bond actually, let me write it clearly. Yeah, correct. So this double bond breaks and you get CH2 and H2. So we have seen this kind of reactions, correct. And that is my expected output. Pretty easy. I have chlorine, I knew I have to add one extra carbon. So instead of chlorine, I need CN. I'll I react this compound with KCN or NACN. You get this compound. CS3, CS2, CN, and then I can do a reduction of this to get my output. And this is nothing but my methylpropanamine. The next is exactly similar to this. So if you see here, here CS2 is the extra here. Same thing we'll do. We'll react this compound with NACN or KCN. So this is my chlorophenyl methane, yeah, chlorophenyl methane. So let me react uh, this guy with KCN. K plus CN minus, CN minus will attack this carbon, kick this chlorine out. So what will happen is you get something like this. Correct. And now you can do a reduction of this in the presence of hydrogen and nickel catalyst or LiAlH4. You get this. This becomes CH2 and this becomes NH2. This triple bond breaks, you get single bond. This is my 1, 2, 2 phenyl with eth ethanamide. This is the product. Now, let's take some more examples where we have tried the structure and IUPAC name of the amides which keeps propane amine by Hoffman bromomide react. So there is something, there is some amide which by Hoffman bromide, bromomide reaction that is Br2 and KOH is propane amine with it propanamide. This is what I have to find. So I know that Hoffman bromide reaction does work. It removes CO. So CO R C O N S two using this Hoffman uh, bromide reaction becomes R N H two, right? That means I have to add CO here. So this amide is nothing but something like. Right, so this is the amide I'm talking about. So and if you see this, if you add all the hydrogens, this is nothing but myth it pro butanamide. This is butanamide. If you see the reaction, this on when react with Br2 and KOH gives you this plus K2C3, KBR and water you can add. Correct. The next is the amine produced by Hoffman degradation of benjamine. So I have a benjamine that is this, right, benjamine and I am doing a Hoffman degradation reaction. So in this what will happen, the CO will go off, right, that's what we have seen. So this becomes NH2. And what is the name of this? This is called aniline. Also called benzene amine. The next is how will you convert benzene to aniline? See, directly we can't add NH2 to benzene. See, this is my benzene. And this is my aniline. So 
So directly I can't add NH2. But I can directly add NO2, Cl, those kind of things I can add directly. Nitration I will do, I will get NO2. Directly we can add this benzene. And also we have seen reduction of NO2 to NH2, that reaction we have seen. We can do that. So what we can do is we can do a nitration. Nitration you add HNO3 and sulfuric acid. So reaction mechanism we have seen. So if you want, you can see the earlier videos where we explain the reaction mechanism of this nitration. So one NO2 will come here. Now NO2 comes here, you can do a reduction by hydrogen in some metal, nickel, you get NH2. This is the way to convert benzene to NAD. The next is, how will I convert benzene to NN dimethyl aniline? So let's see, this is my benzene. I have to convert this is to NN dimethyl aniline. That means, yes. Yes. This is what I have to convert. How will I convert? See, if I convert this to aniline, that just now I have seen. Once I have aniline, I can react this compound with CH3Cl two moles. What will happen? It will replace two of the nitrogen on the aniline. Correct. So let's do this first convert it to aniline that we have seen just now. So I have this compound. I can do nitration. HNO3 in presence of sulfuric acid. I get this NO2. Once I have NO2, I can do reduction. I'll get NH2. Once I have NH2, I can react with CH3 Cl. What will happen? CH3 plus will replace this H and H plus will come out. So I'll get NH CH3. I'll react again with CH3 Cl. So what we'll get is this another hydrogen which I had. This will also be replaced with CH3. So this is what I'll get, and this is what I was expecting. And then dimethyl aniline. Correct? Not so difficult. Converting from benzene to aniline, we just did. And then once we have the aniline, I can react this thing with methyl chloride to moles. Then this two methyl molecules will replace this hydrogen, and I'll get N N dimethyl aniline. The next is how will I convert uh, this compound to hexane 16 diamine? So let's see this. I have this compound. What is hexane uh, 16 diamine? This is nothing but let me write in this form so that you will understand. Correct. There are six carbon here, four, five, six. So what we have seen here is, so instead of chlorine, I need CH2NH2. Instead of this chlorine, I need CH2NH2. How can I do that? CH2NH2 we can easily get from CN. So let's replace this chlorine with CN. So I have this compound. Let me replace with CN. So I need two moles of KCN or NACN. This CN minus will kick off this chlorine out also will hit this carbon kick of this chlorine out. So you'll get something like this. And C will get here. Because the carbon is linked to this carbon. Correct. So once I have this, once I have this, what I can do is I can react this with hydrogen and nickel catalyst. I can do a reduction. So this will become NH2CH2. And this CH24 will be intact, and this CN will become CH2NH2. And this is what I was looking for hexane 16 diamine. Correct? Easy only, not that difficult. You should understand that since you are in need of CH2NH2 both sides, that means you can add CN and then do a reduction to get CH2NH2 both sides. Thank you.
Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.